Aries, 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 doom, 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 doom. Aries, Aries, Aries. Welcome, Aries, to your reading. This is for you, Aries. Uh, moon rising and Venus as well. You are welcome here, okay? Let's see who or what is coming to you in love. Please do not forget to like this video if you feel it helped you, my dears. And I will be releasing your singles reading on my second channel, Pretty Intuitive Tarot 2, today or tomorrow. So please be on the lookout for that. What is coming to Aries in love, please? Mm. Trust. Yeah, trust issues. You know what's coming out? Love-hate relationship. So you may have a love-hate relationship with this person. Now, who pulled this? It, I think it was Libra. We had Libra. Yeah, I think it was Libra that pulled this. So you could be connected to a Libra for someone who has Libra in their moon rising Venus. Maybe you do. Feel free to check out that reading. All right. And we also have trust. At the bottom of the deck, we have union. What's coming to Libra? Oh, Libra. What's coming to Aries in love? That's your opposite sign. Okay, what's coming to Aries in love? Let's get the overall energy for Aries in love, Aries. Ooh, tempers flying. Temp tempers are flying. Aries left the free crying. So Aries, what is that? You know, a lot of fighting, conflict, okay? Um, why are you guys are fighting? It's different for everyone, okay? But uh, for it to be in the reverse, that means that someone either gives up, they want to throw the towel in, they're like, you know what, this is too much. I cannot handle this anymore. can't handle your attitude. I can't handle your trust issues, okay? Trust issues can be causing you guys to continue to keep fighting, Okay? Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. And maybe you have a good reason not to trust this freak Aries. Or they have a reason not to trust you. Please understand uh, general readings are interchangeable on YouTube. Please don't attack me. Okay? What's coming to Aries in love? Tell me more, please. Aries. Okay. We have Justice. Seven of Coins. Ten of Swords. Six of Swords reverse is coming to Aries in love. So Aries, it just seems like it's really hard for someone to make any progress. You know, it just seems like you guys aren't making much progress. Because someone is so, so scared here. So, so scared. Um, I did a similar reading for you guys. Was it like a couple weeks ago? Could have been last week. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini. Okay. I'm also hearing Cancer, but that is what's going on here. Maybe this freak, you know, gave you a reason not to trust them. Okay. So if that's the case, it's understandable. But how are you guys, you know, going to move forward if you can't, you know, forgive them here? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, no one's telling you to, to, to forgive them either. Right. But um, if you're going to trust somebody, it is something that's earned. Trust is earned, okay? Um, the same way respect is earned, okay? But um, that's what I'm feeling here. A lot of trust issues here. Is this a high risk, low reward? Is the juice worth the squeeze with this freak? You know, and let's say some of you, this may not even be someone who did anything particular to you. You could just still have a lot of mental baggage from your past that you're still holding on to. You have yet to move away from that. You have yet to really process that. Okay. Um, and that's causing a lot of conflict and trouble in your love life or in this particular connection or relationship. Right. 
um, yeah, something has to come to an end. Some pattern, some behavior has to come to an end. And let's say for those of you, this freak did hurt you. You know, um, you have a choice to trust or not. You make a choice to trust, you know, somebody. It's the truth, all right? Um, we're going to take a look at this freak's intentions, but it does seem like the Ten of Cups is something you both want. You both see it, or at least they want you to see it here, at least they do. Um, but, and, you know, it's like some type of stubbornness in the situation. A bit of, like, moodiness on someone's end. Like, oh, look, I don't know. I can trust you. Get the freak out of my face. <laughs> You're probably just going to hurt me again or hurt me like I've been hurt before and things like that. Queen of Cups, Cancer here, all right? Tell me about justice. But somebody is at the mercy of the other person, justice. Six of Swords. I'm hearing that for some of you, maybe all it takes is just accountability. If this freak is accountable for what they did to you, maybe you guys can work through it. But you just want them to be accountable for their actions and have their integrity, okay? Um, I'm hearing Aries too that, you know, you know, the shit that they've done in the past is something that still replays in your mind and it haunts you. Um, and you don't want to get hurt like that again. Okay. But I think this person is like a soulmate for you, Aries. But it can only go so far. You know, it can only go so far. If the trust issues linger, two of cups, it can only go so far. You guys will continue to get into problems. And it seems like you guys will be very stagnant with each other. It's going to be a never-ending cycle of push away, curse out, stay away from me, whatever. Five of Swords, you know. Five of Swords is often a card of, you know, tit-for-tat type of behavior. Um, you know, when you got to watch your back and you're always thinking someone's out to get you and things like that. Miscommunications can arise from that card, too. But someone's just definitely not happy. You know, someone's not happy with this at all. I mean, it's really putting a bummer on things. Okay. It is. Yeah, someone is so stuck on the past. I mean, their mind is just wrapped all around it. This is what causes them to push the other away. Magician reverse. And maybe you guys are in a separation because of that. Because it's too unstable. It's too unstable. Four of Wands reverse. I believe, was it Taurus? I had a similar reading. Capricorn. No, Capricorn had a similar reading. I feel like someone still wants to try to fight for this Ten of Cups that they desperately see with the other person. It's like they see it. Okay? They're like, look, baby, I'm trying to love you. You know, I'm trying to have the Ten of Cups with you. I'm trying to have a life with you. But uh, you keep living in the past. You know, the cards are not Dr. Field. They're not going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, but I'm sure you guys can find the right resources out there. Someone's offering something here, but the other person doesn't want to take it. Uh, somebody, you know, wants the other person to see the bigger picture here. It's what they want. Queen of Cups. Uh, this person, Aries, could be avoiding you because of this. All right? Because of their trust issues. Um, that's what's going on here, guys. So let's see, I mean, what is this person's intentions with Aries, please? You 
you have the chariot reverse the king of cups reverse i feel like this person really loves you aries and they would want to you know really give you everything and be with you that is what they ultimately want this is someone who does have like good intentions however i just think that someone's severely emotionally unavailable and that's what's causing a real block here that's why things can't move forward you know there's delays to that so in the meantime you and this person if you're not in a relationship you guys can just be friends um whatever until someone gets rid of their baggage okay that's what i feel someone probably still has some work to do soulmate is flying out so this person is definitely a soulmate okay you also have obsession someone in this connection is having a lot of obsessive thoughts in their head going crazy you already know the answer you seek use your intuition someone is secretly yearning for you old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting some distance will help bring clarity so i don't feel like this is a I don't feel like the you know this will happen for too long okay like as in the distance i feel like you guys will talk there will be averted right we have the justice card but unfortunately it may be one of those things to where someone still um stays away in the meantime you know and as far as like wanting a relationship or getting back together you know there's still a lot of trust issues there and you know what they say if you don't have trust you don't have anything um it says i love you we have mad at you can't be vulnerable we have libra tell them you're mine so this freak needs therapy better tell them your mind that came out twice okay so someone's trust issues can be coming off very controlling or just really sabotaging just doing a lot of crazy things and um okay this freak says they really want to kiss you emotionally unavailable very possessive what's wrong what's up with this person being so possessive over you regret my poor decision they're concerned with who's loving you we have Taurus we have Pisces bringing you an apology yeah I'm not happy with you you're beautiful all right it's not you it's not me what a way to top off the reading huh Lord, all right so with any energies that is what is coming my dears that's what you can expect from the situation and there's not much you can do with somebody who's emotionally unavailable you know you just gotta give them that time and space to work through it there's nothing you can do especially if it's you aries you know it's either you work through that or you don't but if you want love in your life you're gonna have to you know Take out the baggage. Take out the baggage. Enlightenment. Someone's awaiting union. Caught up in the emotions. I mean, this person has a lot of feelings for you. Road to recovery. Not your typical love story. You guys have a soul contract. This ain't dead, just like what I said. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> Reciprocity adjustments are being made, will be made. All right, Aries, I love you all so much. Thank you for booking. Oh, booking. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, guys, and talk to you guys soon.